אלדוס פונוס לשאת דברי ברכה, בבקשה. שלום לכולם. עברית לא הרבה זמן, רק אולי דקה או שני דקות. כשאני קיבלתי הזמנה, חשבתי שאני אדבר בעברית, אבל אני התחלתי לכתוב בעברית, אבל הבנתי שפה לא קלה, זה קשה מאוד. אבל נמי דיבר לי, אני צריך לדבר קצר בעברית, לכן אני חשבתי שבהתחלה אולי לדקה אני אדבר בעברית. אבל עכשיו, עכשיו אני יודע, אם אני אמשיך בעברית, זה מציק. זו, אני לא רוצה לדבר יותר בעברית, זו להן עכשיו אני יכול לדבר באנגלית. First of all, it's my privilege to have come here. And since I started off with Hebrew, let me say, I'm very proud to say that I come from the same place from where the Jews of Cochin, known as the Cochini Jews, come from. And what really startles me, what really startles me is the fact that the Cochin Jews and I have the same mother tongue, the language called Malayalam. But the way the Cochini Jews speak Hebrew and the way I speak Hebrew is not comparable at all. <laughs> I think this is just one of, one of the examples to show how well the Kuchini Jewish community has integrated into the country Israel with the Israeli culture and how they live as Israelis. I think I would just like to highlight a few aspects of the Kuchini Jewish life, Kuchini Jewish life in Kuchin and how well they have integrated in the Israeli society. Whenever I go to Shukha Karmel, from my looks, from my Hebrew, they understand that I'm a Hodi. So the first question is, Acha uh, Hodi? I answer, can, can I Hodi? Efo be Hodu. I mean, I say, Darom Hodu. Acha me Kuchin? So I tell them, yeah, Ani be Kuchin. So Acha Yehudi? I tell them, Ani lo Yehudi. Yes, I'm ashamed, lo Yehudi be Kuchin. This is, this is the kind of impression that Kuchini Jews have been able to stamp in the country of Israel. Wherever I go, they know that there is a Kuchini Jewish community there uh, and the community has very well integrated into a society. That is why wherever I go, I am recognized as, as a member of the Kuchini community rather the Kuchini Jewish, Jewish community then I have great difficulty in explaining to them there are people who are non-Jewish, who are from Cochin with great difficulty I explain that. And uh, just to say about a few aspects about the Cochini Jewish life in Cochin, uh, Cochini Jewish life back in Cochin. All of you know that India has been a country that's, that has been very hospitable to the Jews. For more than 2,000 years, the Jews lived in Israel without a single instance of anti-Semitism. They have been able to showcase their traditions. They have been able to proudly uh, uh, protect their culture, their traditions, their heritage and move forward. But I think in Kuchin, they were able to gel well with the local society and they were not just living there. They were able to flourish there. They were able to prosper there. All of you know that Joseph Ramban received several privileges from the then king of Travancore, from the from the then sorry from the then king of Cochin, and this shows as a community how the Cochini Jewish community had flourished in 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 the city of Cochin, and. The privileges given to the Kuchini Jewish community, it is stated in the place that it would last as long as the sun and the moon would exist. So 
This is just an example as to how enterprising the community was there back in Cochin. Another example, the spot, the particular spot to which the Cochini Jewish community is believed to have landed is called Kodungalu. Now it is called as Kranganun or Muziris, uh, Muziris. The speciality about the place is that it is a place which is equally important for the Muslim community, for the Christian community and the Jewish community. Musuris is the port where or the place where the first mosque in India was built. It is also a port where the Syrian Christians from Syria are believed to have arrived to, arrived to uh, the state of, state of Kerala. So, the, the, the Jewish community in Cochin, they were able to gel well with the other religions, with the other communities and lead a very secular and communal, secular and communal life in complete harmony with the local cultures and the local traditions. Now, as a community, how far the Cochini Jewish community has been able to integrate in the country? Just to cite an example, Mushab Nabatin. Mushab Nabatin, at the start, of course, it was in the midst of a desert. At the start, there were several communities who tried to establish themselves there, but they could not because the conditions were hostile. It was the Cochini Jewish community who came to uh, who came to Mushab Nabatin with their hard work and labor. They started uh, they started farming on that place, and the place prospered. The place grew. The place flourished. And this Mushab Nevatim, which we see now, is because of the hard work and the labor of the Cochini Jewish community. And, and uh, as, a, as a child, when I grew up, I always, uh, I always heard about the Jew, Jew town in Cochin, about the synagogues in Cochin. And uh, at, as a child, I was always fascinated about by the community as such because I had rarely any interactions with them. My interactions with the Kuchini Jewish community actually started after coming to Israel. Then I started reading more about their culture, more about their traditions. And if you see, uh, the gentlemen and ladies sitting in the front row wearing such colorful dresses, this is a unique symbol of the Kuchini Jewish community. And these artifacts are, are showcased even in the Israel Museum as well. And this is something which every, each and every Cochini Jew can be really proud of. The kind of traditions, the kind of culture, the kind of heritage that you have inherited from your forefathers. And this heritage and cultures which you have inherited from the forefathers, after coming to Israel, you never gave them up. You were still preserving. I know senior members of the Kuchini Jewish community who are still so much in love with Kerala, the place they, where they come from. Even as they completely respect, completely love and is very happy to be in Israel. They have somehow been able to balance the best of both, both the Kuchini, their Kuchini Jewish heritage and their, their Israeli heritage. This is not a very easy sight to find. And I think every, so much credit is due to the organizers for organizing such a convention. The importance of such a convention is not just in letting people know that there is a community called Cochin Jewish community, but it is in making the youngsters of the community aware, aware of their proud and rich heritage. It is the youngsters that the community should try and tap. It is, the, it, it is a spirit that we should try to invoke in the youngsters so that they remain, they, uh, they remain to be proud of their Kuchini Jewish heritage. I think the objective of such conventions should be that, to keep, uh, to keep youngsters in the loop and to, uh, and to, make, them, and, and to, to make them aware of their uh, tradition and cultures. Before I wind up, just one more thing. I would say Kuchin Jewish community is one of the four uh, communities from India and last year, from last year 
we have been trying to bring all the Indian Jewish communities uh, to do certain joint projects for themselves. And it was as a hard work of their of the Indian Jewish community, we were able to showcase the first Jewish National Convention. And I'm sure all of you would have known by now, we are planning to have the second Jewish Na Indian Jewish National Convention in Mushab Nabatim on August 21st. I hope the same kind of enthusiasm and the same kind of support you have extended to the organizers of the conference would be extended to the organizers of that function. I mean the organizers of, of this conference and the organizers of the second national con convention are exactly the same. The same kind of love, the same kind of cooperation is expected in that convention too. So I request each and all of you to support the leaders of the Kuchini Jewish community in all their endeavors and in, their, in all their activities to link both the countries together, to link India and Israel together. I think maybe before I wind up, just maybe a couple of lines in Malayalam. Israelim, India, Tamarula, Bendangalka, Shakti Urapikyan Mendi. Ibadikulla, Kuchini Jewish community, Sevenangal, Sevenangal, the Parana, Urikil, Markan Sarikatan, Bavilum, Idepoliola, Idepoliola, Provatanga, Seva, Ibar Sarikate, and Yapatiashi, you know, Ningal or Turku, Ningal or Turku, our commander with Irula, Ella Terku, Sahai Sahai, Cheda, Cheyu, Urkola, Yana Perkin. With these few words, Adakshav, Ani Dibati, Shalor Sapor. With these few words, let me wind up my speech. And before I wind up, again, all credit to the organizers of the conference. They have done a wonderful job. And thanks a lot for inviting me. Shalom, Ningal Kayo, Kandipinita, Adamstan.